In today's video, you will learn how, in 8 months, to prepare for a 100 meter swim at the Olympic Games and win. It's no secret that there are countries in the world in which the standard of living is so low that the presence of their representatives at the Olympic Games is almost impossible. For such countries, the International Olympic Committee introduced the wildcard lottery, which allows athletes to enter the Olympics directly, bypassing qualifying events. Thanks to this lottery, our today's hero from Equatorial Guinea got to the 2000 Olympics in Sydney. Eric Musambani Malona has been able to swim since the age of 12, but has never been a professional swimmer. 22-year-old Eric decided to take part in the Olympic Games after he heard an announcement on the radio from local authorities about the recruitment of candidates for the country's Olympic team. Yes, yes, on the radio. And he passed the selection without any problems since there were simply no other candidates. Eric began his training on the lake just eight months before the Olympics, and then one of the hotels in Malabo, the capital of Equatorial Guinea, led him into his 13-meter pool. But even having received a swimming pool for training, he could only train in it for a couple of hours on weekends. Eric did not have a coach, but from time to time he received coaching advice from hotel guests. In Sydney, which he traveled for three days, Eric saw for the first time in his life a 50-meter Olympic swimming pool. But this did not shock Musambani, but the fact that the IOC quota was allocated to the 100-meter distance while he was preparing for the 50-meter swim. Luckily, he still had some time to practice. Eric spent a lot of time in the pool watching the representatives of other countries, trying to quickly learn their techniques. At one of the regular training sessions, the coach of the South African national team handed Eric goggles and swimming trunks since all this time Musambani was training in ordinary swimming tourist shorts. Together with Eric, the representative of Tajikistan, Fark Oropov, and the representative of Niger, Kareem Bear, went to the start. Eric passed the first half of the swim in just over 40 seconds, but the second half was difficult for him. At some point, the audience even began to think that he was about to drown. The last 15 meters of the distance, the entire 17,000 stadium was rooting for him. Musambani managed to finish the swim in 1 minute and 52 seconds, which was the worst result in the history of Olympic heats for 100 meters. But despite this, Eric Musambani won, both of his opponents were disqualified for false starts. True, Eric did not get into the general grid, for this it was necessary to finish the distance in a maximum of 1 minute and 10 seconds. After the Olympiad, Eric received a scholarship and studied as an IT engineer at the University of Valencia. Continuing his training, he improved his time on the 100 meters to 57 seconds and returned to his native country in 2012 and took over as head coach of the Equatorial Guinea swimming team. A couple of Olympic swimming pools were even built for them in Malabo and Bath. Subscribe to the channel, here they talk about sports.